Hey everyone, welcome back to Coinaz. If you have rare US coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. Over $70,000 for this 1951 penny. Unbelievable. This is because it is very rare proof coin in PR67 grade with deep cameo feature. Deep cameo is a designation assigned when a coin has a stark contrast between frosted reliefs and mirror-like fields. This proof coin also contains 95% copper, 5% tin, and zinc, like in business track pennies. However, proof coins are struck with special care for collectors. Value goes up when it features deep cameo effect. This mesmerizing specimen ended up selling for $70,312.50, including buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Moving on to this 1976S. Kennedy of dollars struck on a silver planchet, graded in mean state 69 by PCGS. Just one numerical point prevents this gem from absolute numismatic perfection. The 1976S silver Kennedy of dollar in mean state 69 condition is considered rare and valuable coin. This coin was minted to commemorate the bicentennial of United States and it features a 40% silver content. Only a small number of these coins were produced and even fewer were able to achieve the high MS69 grade, indicating an almost perfect condition. As a result, this coin is highly sought after by collectors and can command a significant premium over its face value. It was sold for $16,312.50 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Here is 1955D Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 66, neatly struck and preserved gem with full steps on Monticello porch. This sharply struck 1955D Nickel clearly sat undisturbed for a long time in some sort of old holder, more than likely a mint set board. Totally original, the surfaces have dusty old time patina that it accented by bold underlying luster, the devices are sharply struck, especially the central reverse devices, where Monticello's steps are boldly rendered by an exacting blow from the dies. It was sold for $7,931.25 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. This is 2008 the presidential dollar featuring Andrew Jackson on obverse the 7th President of the United States, and an image of Statue of Liberty on the reverse. The edge inscription will read 2008 D, which refers to the date in which the coins were officially released into circulation along with the D mint mark, representing the mint in which the coins were produced. Circulation strike coins goes through Schuller edge lettering machine, which applies inscriptions on the coin's edge. On position B variants, the coin's edge lettering reads normally when the president's portrait faces up. This representative of the first day of issue was sold for $5,850 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Here is 1943 Lincoln Cent struck on a 10 cent planchet, graded in Mint State 61 by PCGS. A very popular date and error type during wartime. During the wartime crush of coinage production, a few dime planchets found their way into beans with standard steel blanks for 1943 cents. Their similar brilliant silver colors did not draw attention to them, and there are a small number of these known. This one appears to be one of higher graded pieces, sold for $3,760 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. Here is 1942's War Nickel, struck on a silver dime planchet, graded in mint state 63 by PCGS. A scars of metal error of the short lived War Nickel series. The lower half of the date is present enough to confirm the coin was struck in 1942. The San Francisco mint is complete and nearly touched the upper border, struck nearly flush with the collar die at 12 o'clock. Thus, the lower half of obverse and the upper half of reverse. Are somewhat out of round. It was sold for $3,600 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Have a wonderful day. Do you want to sell your coins, paper money, notes, valuable bills, and stamps online? You can publish your ads for free on our website, thecoinas.com. For mobile users, it's much easier publishing coin ads using our Coinas app.